I bet if we took a survey, we would find that more people made their first quilt when they were making a baby quilt for somebody special in their life. I know I did. And I wanna share with you some gorgeous new baby fabrics for those first time quilts or for the 50th quilt. Keep watching. Hi, it's Donna Robertson with Fabric Cafe, and today we're going to look at some of the cutest baby fabrics you've ever seen. So if you like making baby quilts, children's quilts, maybe you do them for charity purposes, maybe you do it for your very first grandchild like I did. I was just so excited when I found out I was going to be a grandma, and I immediately went out and bought fabric. I didn't know how to quilt yet, but I went out and bought fabric and that was my first quilt. So we're going to talk about three yard quilts today. We have seven books in print. Every book has eight patterns. Every pattern is written in three sizes. So you can make those baby quilts or lap quilts. You can also make twins and king queens. So we're going to get started now with our first one. And this one is Checkmate. We no longer have this fabric available, but we have some great new fabric. We just want you to see how cool the fabric is. And if you put those blankets down on the floor so those babies can crawl around, then this is perfect because it's a little bit bigger. I'm not a big fan of the little crib size. They only last for a few months before you really need a bigger quilt. So this particular one has the wide border, I mean, I'm sorry, the wide strip in a row quilt and then a four patch thereafter. Let's put that one up here. And we have some awesome little woodland creatures. Now, whether you're making it for a boy or a girl, uh, I know I know some girls that just absolutely love these woodland characters just as much as any little boy would. So these are adorable with your raccoons and your bears and your fox. And then we have, that's our focus. It's going to go in the wide part here. And then you have the ABCs and the cute little leaves that are actually mimic leaves in the background of the quilt. So we have our focus, our two and our three, and that's how the patterns are written so they're easy to follow. The number is 8021655, animal alphabet. Checkmate is the pattern and it's in the book Quilts for Kids. That is a download only pattern. So if you buy three kits and you order that book, we'll send you a code. If you buy the book, it's $15.99, and we send you a code for that so you can download it. This is 9 plus 1. 9 plus 1 is a super easy one to put together with a focus fabric and then the two companion fabrics done. So you've got focus, two, and three. Let's put that up here. And we have a little cute little one here with some pinks in it. So this is called Cutesy Critters, and they are cute, aren't they? You've got the fox, you've got the unicorn, a turtle, kitty cat, all kinds of cute little things. Here's a rabbit. Boy, it's got lots of them. I bet that, is that a beaver? I don't know what that is. No, it's a fox. Oh, I couldn't see his head. Okay, everybody can have a good laugh with that one. He has a head, it's just around the corner. There we are. <laughs> This is your focus fabric that's going to go in your number one spot. And then you've got two remaining. You've got your ABCs. That's cute. In the number two spot, it'll be here and here. And your number three will be here and on the binding. So that one is adorable. And it is 8021659 Cutesy Critters 9 plus 1. And Quilts for Kids is the book. We have it available as the individual and, uh, or the, the individual pattern or in the book. This one is going to be uh, pretty simple. Pretty simple is a super fast one. You, and it's great for two prints that are separated by uh, the sashing. So let's put that one up here and look at it. We've got some great... This one's called Turt Turtley uh, Awesome. Boy, we make up some cute names. <laughs> okay, so these are all these water creatures. We've got some cute little guys here that are going to go in the number one spot. And the number one spot on this quilt is where the snowman is. We normally try to put the largest print in the number one spot. 
This one, because we have two large prints, we're going to put the number two here with the turtles. And then this cute little swirl is going to be the sashing for this one, the sashing and the borders. And a fun thing about that green, it glows in the dark. Oh, thank you, Hannah. So this is a glow in the dark. So you know the kids are going to love that. So all of your water creatures are going to be surrounded by this green. So when you turn out the lights, you get to see it glowing in the dark. That's great. 8021657 is the kit number. Totally awesome. Pretty simple is your pattern. It's available as an individual. It's also available in the book, Quilts Favorites. And that is a download only book. We will send you a code so you can download it if that's one of your choices. Now we don't want to leave, we got all these cutesy things, but let's not leave out those little prissy girls like uh, I was and that you wanted to have something that really shows off a pretty fabric for a little one, then we we're going to use sugar pie. I thought it looked like those candies that you twist papers on the both sides. Let's put that on the table and let me show you this beautiful fabric. Now I'm going to tell you a the truth. There is no age limit on who might like this one. It doesn't have to be for a little girl because big girls like me like it. See that pretty rose? It's just really pretty, pretty fabrics with a little pastel butterflies. That's your number one. It's going to go in the middle of your block. Then you're going to have two remaining. So the background color, the number two, goes here. And then we're going to have the green going here and here for the color accents. So let me show you how pretty that's going to look together. That is gorgeous. This one just reminds me of a, a beautiful watercolor. Okay, this one is 8021658. Fairy Flowers is the name of the kit. The pattern is Sugar Pie, and that's in the book pretty darn quick. Okay, the next one is Pretty Please, Pretty Please. Do not have this fabric, but it is a great one for kiddos. You can put your cute little fabrics here with your uh, alternating block. It's just a smaller square that has been strip pieced, and then you sew little side pieces on that. So let's put that one up here, and we have a girl version and a boy version. So if you've got a little girl and you want to make a quilt in pink, then you've got these adorable bedtime buddies. So we've got this little sheep with the uh, birds and some stars and moons in the background. That's going to go in your number one spot. And then your number two is this check. And that's going to go around the peak that goes here. So this one will be so cute and so pink. Okay, we've got 8021659, Bedtime Buddies. Pretty Please is your pattern. And it, it is only available in, uh, as an individual pattern. It's not available in any book. But if you were to take this for your choice, remember that any three yards of fabric will work with any of my patterns. So if you want to get a book and buy three kits, and this is one of the kits, any pattern will work. Okay, using the same pattern, we have Counting Sheep, and Counting Sheep has the blue version. So this one is uh, the sheep in blue with the little um, circles and squares. That's cute. That'll go really nice around the edge of this one. So this will be in the middle. So you've got your focus, your two, and your three. Your number is 8021561. Counting sheep. Pretty please is your pattern. And um, that, again, is not in any book. <clears throat> now, I know by showing this quilt, you're going to get so excited because dinosaurs are hard to come by. But I don't have this fabric. But good news is, I have some other dinosaur fabric. So we're going to put this up. This one's called um, Easy Street. It has a big 10-inch block. And it also has um, these, these squares here that are smaller. And this is kind of a four-patch that's done in an interesting way. I'll block it out so you can see that. So with this particular one, it's best if you use a tossed fabric like I've done here. If you have a one 
a directional fabric, then you might want to do a little precaution there, which is make half of your strip sets with the dinosaurs going one way and then half going the other way. Now this block is right here. Let me show you how we can block this out so you can see how super simple it is. So do I need to scoot down a little, John? No, nope, you're okay. Okay, so that's one right there is one of the blocks and we repeat it right over here. Then you also have this block and we're going to block it. So you can see it's just strips sewn on the side of each block. And then when you put those four together, you end up with this really cool block. It kind of has a, an interesting little effect whenever you put them together. So remember, when you're doing your dinosaurs with the fabric that I'm about to show you, you'll want to do half of these strip pieces with the uh, color on one side, then you turn the other strip for your second half of the strips. You want to do it with them at the other direction. So here, with drum roll, look at these great dinosaurs. Oh, I thought this was all one way. Is it all one way? Yes, it is all one way. So you're going to need to put that into your big block, no problem at all. But on these, make half of your strip sets with the fabric going one way and the half going the other way, and it'll fit together real nicely. Then <clears throat> your number two fabric is your light. That's going to be going uh, right here. It'll go around all of these. And then your number three fabric will be where the dark is. So this is a great looking quilt that will satisfy all those dinosaur loving boys. 8021661, Dino Stomp. Easy Street is the pattern. It's in the book, Easy Peasy Three Yard Quilts. Okay, another very popular pattern. And we don't have this fabric either, but we're gonna show you a fun fabric here. This one is, um, Yes, Tic Tac. Is this Tic Tac? Mm -hmm. <laughs> when you have over 100 children, you can't remember their names. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is, <laughs> this is Tic Tac, and you're using two large blocks, and the two blocks, uh, in this particular case, I like showing two different um, uh, prints that are kind of large. So you've got your fabric number one and your fabric number two, and then it's sashed. And I have, this is the love of my life, right after Bob. I mean, he's still the love of my life but I love Spider-Man. So here's Spider-Man. I know whenever I went to see Spider-Man at the movies with my grandson, it was like, it was love at first sight when I watched that movie. I just loved it. I mean, I guess I'm a child at heart, what can I say? But this one would be great with your, your big, I, I chose to put the biggest print in the number one, which is gonna be here. And then for your number two fabric, it's a little bit smaller print, so it's going in the number two spot. It's also the lightest fabric if, you, if you're comparing these two. And then we're going to border it, this great um, black modeled fabric that's going to go here. Okay, we have 8021550, web crawler is the name of the pattern, the kit, Tic Tac is the pattern, Easy Peasy Three Yard Quilts is your book. Now we're going to use Tic Tac again for this one. This is a last chance. So there are only eight of these remaining and uh, this is going to be your fabric number one that will go in your block here. Fabric number two is going to go here and fabric number three is going to be your um, sashing. This one is going to be great for those kiddos that like those bulldozers and backhoes, et cetera. 8021660, on the go is the name of this particular fabric. Tic Tac is your pattern. Easy Peasy is your book, and it's a last chance. There's only one remaining. This one is called So Quick. It is truly that, So Quick. I do not have this fabric, but I'm going to show you some more great fabric. That's a 10 inch block, and this is a five inch four patch. So let's put that up here, and we're going to share with you some unicorn love. These unicorns have been quite popular. 
So here is a cute little unicorn fabric for your number one. And that is going to go here in your number one mm -hmm. position. Then you're going to have your number two. And look at those cute moons. Those are going to go in this section right here. And then your number three is this one. And it will go where your aqua is. And the name of this one is Unicorn Love 8021548. So quick is your pattern. And that is available as an individual. It's also available in the book, Quilt Favorites, which is a download only book. We have another last chance. And this one is, there's only seven of these remaining. And these are these adorable bunnies. And then wouldn't it be cute to give a stuffed bunny with a quilt to someone? I think that would be so cute. So you could put this in your number one spot. And then you've got your light and your dark. And this one would go where the green is and the um, peach will go next right here. And 8021145, Bunny Hop. The pattern is so quick. The book is Quilt Favorites and there are only seven remaining of this particular kit. So there were some great fabrics, many of them new. I hope you saw something that you like. I know the kids are gonna love every one of those. And I wanna give a special shout out and thank you for those who make quilts for those in need. And I know there are many of you who do. We also want to invite you to visit our website, freecaringquiltpatterns.com. That is our site where we will do quilts that charity quilters and people who care can download and make to give to other people. We hope that you enjoyed today's video. There's lots of cute fabric and we have had fun putting them together. Now we do have seven books in print. Every book has eight patterns and every pattern is written for three sizes. So be sure to check out the books. They're just $15.99 each or you get one free when you buy three kits. Now be sure to subscribe and click on the bell so you'll be notified every time we do a new video and Share it with your friends and leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. See you later.